Whether I'm speaking to kids or spinning music, getting that joy back from people, that's a prideful moment. Out. I never understand that because for me, just being you and doing you every day is just what it is. And I think that when we start putting labels on things, it kind of automatically makes somebody be like, ugh, labels that you wear are the ones that are on your back. So for me, just me getting up and getting out of the house and getting dressed is a happy moment. <laughs> I'm prideful for that. <laughs> If someone asks me, like an influencer, somebody who meant something to me, I say my grandmother. My grandmother's been a part of the s and contingency since the 70s in New York. Um, she has a female and a male slave. So I got, you know, introduced to pride and um, just all the faggotry and colorfulness that was going on in New York growing up in Manhattan. So I would say my grandmother. She's the shit. My first pride was definitely back in the hurrah uh, hurrah um, with my grandmother. But then I think the one that I actually participated in was with my sister Candace because we would always be on the uh, float for HX magazine. My sisterhood with my sister Candace is always a very special, touchy thing because I feel like it's one of the last things that is really mine. When um, we met, it was literally one of those things where it was like, wow, this is really what you can make it. It doesn't matter if you come from blood, you know? What we've experienced and what we've done and what we are to one another, I never and I don't ever need from anyone else but her. Seeing how proactive the youth is with politics, you know, that's pretty amazing, you know, just to see them taking their faces out of their phone and getting in, you know, because we've seen what the Orange Cheeto has done. Where I would like to see Stonewall 100, it would be people actually speaking to one another, having conversations, um, learning, keeping the dialogue alive, finding out stories. Remember where you came from because you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. So I think that knowing your history and um, also speaking to your elders, people who have done the fight and made it possible for you to get married and walk down the street and look colorful. You know, don't think that you invented the wheel. Realize that there are other people who have amazing stories that can, you know, add to who you are. What legacy I hope to leave is love and light. I mean, I love laughter and I love bringing people together, so making people happy.